this week's topic is books that don't have a sequel that should or that should also have a companion novel. I cannot think of any book that I would want to have a sequel to that doesn't already. Um, I know that there are some books which are written intended to have a sequel, but they don't sell well enough um, to garner one. I don't know, I'm just, I guess I'm kind of burnt out on series. When I read a standalone novel, I'm like perfectly happy with it, and I don't really need a book too. I mean, I'd love to, I guess, spend more time with characters, but usually by the end of a standalone, I'm like done. So now what to talk about. I've been reading some more adult books lately because I'm in a contemporary lit class and we read adult fiction. So I read read The Art of Fielding by Chad Harbach, Harbach and it, it, it was really good. I liked it a lot and I just finished my paper on it and I would recommend it. Um, if you like John Green's type of writing, you'll like The Art of Fielding. Um, John Green's writing is definitely easier to read and it's less, I don't know, depressing, but The Art of Fielding is really good and I kind of got that vibe from it. it he, I don't know, he's the only person I can think of to compare this author to in YA. If you are thinking about picking this up though, I'd recommend that you'd be like a little older, like maybe not in middle school to read it, because there are some mature things in it, but you know. You can gauge your maturity level. I don't want to tell you what not to read. But, um, so yeah, I read this. And then, right now, I'm in the middle of Cloud Atlas, which is going to be a movie next month. Yay! I'm excited for it. Um, funny story, I actually saw the trailer for Cloud Atlas, the movie, and I was like, wow, that looks really cool. Now I want to read Cloud Atlas. And then, I looked at my assigned reading list for this class that I'm taking and Cloud Atlas was on it! So now I get to actually read it because probably would not have made myself take the time to do it. So that's really cool. Oh, I didn't really tell you what they're about. The Art of Fielding is about baseball and relationships and depression and um, growing up. So, but it's centered around baseball. Baseball's like the central like thing. And then Cloud Atlas is about just like a lot of different things. It's just six stories that kind of relate to each other in minute ways. In other news, I have applied to go to London in January to take a Shakespeare course. So that'll be interesting. We'll see if I get in, but I will keep you posted. I also just finished reading The Evolution of Mara Dyer, which is a sequel to The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer. And it was good. Top-notch sequel. I would really, really recommend it. It comes out late October. And if you liked The Unbecoming of Mara Dye, you're gonna love the evolution because it's like, it takes everything to a whole new level. It's like even creepier and even sexier and even more suspenseful. I just, there were certain points in the novel where I was just like, I can't. I can't even fathom That was my reaction, so I really commend Michelle Hawkin because she's such an excellent writer. And really, I think that's it for me. It's just so hot that I'm just like, I don't want to think about anything, but I do need to study for a test, so see ya, bye.